Morning guys, Lena and Simon again. Day two in Penang. We've got our uh, trusty steed hired and we're uh, heading over to the other side of the island today. Gonna do the, uh, try and do the impossible and circumnavigate the island. When I was here uh, 15 years ago or thereabouts, uh, hired a couple of bikes, me and a mate Chris, and we tried to circumnavigate the island but got pulled up by the cops because we didn't have any uh, international driver's license. So we're gonna give it a crack today. We're just uh, on the outskirts of Georgetown and we're heading over to Batu Fringi and then up into the jungle and over the other side that not many people get to experience. So we'll go for a squirt, we'll stop at Batu Fringi, so you show you some spots along the way and uh, see what we can do. It's a sort of two hour 80 k, two and a half hour 80 k loop. We we'll, were allowing six hours, we're gonna stop for a swim and have a, have a couple of feeds and that, so we'll see how we go. All right, we'll catch up on the road. So as I said before, this is my uh, fourth time here. Lena's fir uh, first time. Ooh. And it's, uh, I love the place, it's pretty awesome. Best food in all of Southeast Asia, big call, but uh, I really love the joint. I've had a few good times here. Don't do enough exploring uh, normally when I was here because I was just on the piss all the time. So it's good to have Lena here and actually go and have a look at the joint. And hopefully she'll love it as much as I do. This is one of the good things about living overseas in Southeast Asia or facing yourself in Thailand. You can fly here for 50 bucks for the weekend, get away, have a getaway in another country. It's an hour away, it's like flying from Sydney to Melbourne or Sydney to Gold Coast. You've got different food, different culture, different people, and a different temperature, all the same. development even in uh, the last six or seven years since I've been here. Development high rise wise, not development road wise unfortunately. I've already spoken in uh, earlier in the video about the departure that happened at the airport. An hour and a half public transport to get from the airport into Georgetown because there was no taxis around at all so I don't know what's going on. the city now and uh, right on the coast heading over to Batu Ferengi all these uh, lots of these towers in front I think they were getting built when we were here last time it's hard to remember man the place changes so much every time you come but... Gucci handbags and stuff, but that's right, we'll have a look at 
night and you can make up your own mind but it's a cool area man it's a little party spot stayed in there by the sea Made it down to the beach. Bar through Ferengi. It's looking pretty hazy today, just like it was yesterday. And uh, look, the water doesn't look amazing blue like it does in Thailand, it's the same ocean. But different water depths, different currents moving around the island, different conditions. And it's a little bit windy today, as you can probably see by the leaves running along the beach. Have a decent feed. Still people out enjoying the beach. We're in a section between a couple of the resorts, so you do have beach access even if you're not at the resort. But yeah, pretty quiet this morning. It's only Tuesday. What's the time? 9.30. Who oh, cares? Time. Who cares what the time is, man? But yeah, bar two, man, it's a good little spot. Do love the place. So we've got a fair bit of riding to do so we'll head back on the trusty steed same bike that we had in thailand different name over here it was a honda click in thailand 160 cc's over there it was 16 bucks a day ost about 400 baht they were charging which is more than 16 a day now because the aussie dollars died in the ass but if you compare what the dollar and the exchange rate every day and you put it up on the video but he, he watched the video a week later and the exchange rate's totally different because of what's going on everywhere in the world and massive inflation. So 16 or 18 dollars a day in Thailand and uh, was 60 ringgit or about 20 dollars a day here. Things brand spankers man, it's got 1900 k's on the clock. So I don't have a drama. Goes heaps better than the other one I had yesterday which I only had 4,000 k's on the clock, but someone had given it a friggin' absolute pizzling because it had some really bad shaking and shit going on. But yeah, same thing, same bike, Honda Click, but called a Vario. Not a bad little thing, 160 cc's. from Penang and you don't mind and you're, you're fairly handy on a motorbike it's actually a pretty awesome ride up here Lena has a look down on my phone and has a look at that what's coming up <laughs> it's going to be pretty sick twists and turns heading up now the uh, tallest point Ooh. we've reached the tallest point we're heading back down and uh, we're still only about a third of the way around the island but yeah it's gorgeous these uh, there's heaps of bike riders on this road push bike riders and motorbike riders but uh, yeah push bike riders get all the way up and then they got an awesome trip on the way down man for 20 buck bike hire this is the uh, best ride in the park it's worth it just to get if you've got a bike license 
make sure you get an international license if you're coming here get a bike 20 bucks it's a friggin awesome ride so i'm running halfway through but yeah that mountain you saw what it was looked like on the uh, on google maps and yeah crazy so i'll head back down find some different feeds for today i've got to try and eat chuck weights here at least twice a day for four days in a row <laughs> which won't be too hard since i love it and uh we'll try and find some new and exciting stuff for lena as well huh. all right We'll sign off and we'll catch up at the next stop. Turning right, we're going straight ahead. Happy Mart. Oh, happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> Happier if you put your blink on, champion. There we go. Look at these stupid whiteys riding a scooter all the way out here. That's why you gotta get out of town, man. You don't see this on the Georgetown bloody tourist yeah, pictures. Yeah, you take a slight little long turn now, it's supposed to go straight. Oh, it's I saw some water. I don't want to be on someone's private property and piss people off. Jason Dwyer, you friggin' maniac. What a legend. This is where we are. We got lost a little bit. But now we're here on this sandy beach, it says. Had no idea, thought we'd gone back on this main loop road that's gonna loop us around the bottom and then back onto the yellow to take us back into town. Look what we've stumbled upon. Bloody Tropicana. Nice sandy beach. 
Lena and I are going to jump in and have a swim. A few local leads down here. So, yeah, nice. I think we're the only foreigners here. Probably the only ones that have ever been. <laughs> Look at this joint. Huh? Kids over there in the shade. Had a bit of a picnic. Yeah. Cool. This is nice, man. Yeah, we had no intention of coming in. That uh, little road, when we went on that crazy road with the, over the bridge into the little fishing village, when I turned right there, I was actually supposed to go again to the left and then around back onto that loop road but I just stayed on there there's a little road and yep. I'm about to pull over yep because we're going to put some sun cream on and then yeah. to just get in all the speed can we swim time so swim is done the cleaner's all happy avoided <laughs> having a toilet stop as well so that's a plus <laughs> jackpot good on you mate the uh Malacca Straits out in front of us here. So we are down in Malacca where Penang is. So uh, if we were to swim all the way from here in this general direction, we end up in Medan in northern Sumatra. So that's the next place across the island, or across the uh, ocean rather, Malacca Straits. And that's why it's a bit hazy. I mentioned it this morning, the burning season is on in Indonesia and even up in Phuket when we left man just a thick smoke haze from the uh, leads burning off crops in Indonesia so that's what's going on but beautiful man nice breeze perfect day bugger all clouds bit of wispy cloud but as you can see sweet little spot time to get back on the bike continue the circumnavigation Think so. uh, <laughs> um, no. Google's lost all points of reference. So I've tried to force it to take me this way. Oh look, we saw some cool little farming area anyway, but there's supposed to be another five or six k's left before we got to the main drag. Yep. Bastard. <laughs> so this is uh, rice paddies here that if we'd come two months ago would be nice and green and looking white. But now it's just brown fields, but there's some container on some container art here. Oh there you are on that side. There's container art, I can actually speak now, I've got my visor up. So they've just got three 40 foot tubing containers and stacked them on their end. Wow. It's pretty cool man. Yeah. It's a lightning strike area too. And a bit of farmers on the other side. Just zoom in on those head pieces here. That's, so it's just welded. Welded some little. Oh, you can't really see here. Get a bit closer. So I've just welded these bloody little stirrups on them and dyna bolted them into the ground, or with locks and. Stuff. Uber windy. <laughs> but yeah, middle of a rice paddy. That was only half full, man. That's the price per litre there. That's in ringgits, not in dollars. That's crazy. Just filled the bike up. There you go, baby. Just filled the bike up after the big trip.
So we're going to drop the bike back and then uh, go and get a feed. Here we are, just dropping the bike back. These guys are... Uh, thanks, honey. Okay, thank you. Cheers, thanks. So, Stardust One, they were really good actually. She's a sweetheart. And uh, yeah, really nice people. And the bike was awesome, good value. Bike was awesome, good value. You get like these little mobile phone holder things on all the bikes. So, and they're all pretty good shape, man. They're all pretty new. They've still got knobs on the side of the tyres and stuff. So, farewell, little blue steed. You've done well. Thanks, boss. I'm like changing oil,